Is it my hood? What's the color? What's the color? What's the color? Is that a law? Yes, in the library of taking it off. Is that a law? Off. A law or policy? Policy. Yeah, I go by law, man. <laughs> okay, well, if you go take your hood off, you have to go outside. What's the difference between a hood and a hat? Oh, yeah. I don't appreciate it being recorded either. You're in public. That's, okay, so you're in public, right? Right, yeah. You're in the library, right? There's no expectation well, of privacy off, yeah. in public, man. What's the difference between my hood and your hat? Take your hood off. Oh, somebody's running So you want there. to be combative. Sir, Khalif. look behind you. Don't record me. Look behind you. Let's go. I'm good here, man. No, you're not. Let's go. All right, this guy is, uh, this guy is uh, escalated here. Yep. Right, right. You want to record me, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I could be all up in the camera, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah, take your as ass out of the building. As long as your breath As long as you can get out of my building. As long as your breath out of the building. Okay, you want to play now? How is this your building? You want to play stupid? Man, his breath kind of does stink, guys. He needs a breath mint. You ain't wash your ass. I didn't wash my butt. You didn't. Oh, then you want to wash it for me? Leave the building. No, I'm good here. It's a public building. It's a public building? Yeah. Leave the building. Why, well, so what have I done? You know what you did. No. What did I do, sir? Is it my hood? <laughs> What's the going What's the going What's the going now I just did All that. All right, guys. Now I just did that. Yep. Let's believe. Yep. And you're going to be under arrest for that, oh, too. Oh, man. You believe that? That's, that's, that's assault. Look it up. He assaulted me, man. I didn't see it. No, it's okay. I got it on camera and GoPro. So. All right. This guy just uh, broke my equipment here. Yeah, I did. Let the leave. I suggest you back up. I suggest you. What you going to do? Yeah, you just you broke this my, my face, right? You just broke you my equipment. You was my face, right? What you going to do about it? Now what you gonna do about it? All right, guys. This guy just uh, broke my equipment yep. here. I will be calling law enforcement. Okay. They will be coming here and yep. arresting him. They won't. <laughs> now I asked you three or four times to leave the building. You still want to be here? I'm still recording. Okay. Call the cops like you say you will call. I will. Thank you. So will I. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yep. Yep. She has a little bit more. Do you know who I was supposed to report? I haven't even been in. Oh, guys. Are you still recording? Broke my equipment here. I don't know if you can't see that, but that holds my mic. Yes, can I have the police sir, at 3309? Um, South Grand? Yes. Um, there's a guy here with a camcorder. Follow me around with the camera directly in my face. Tell I me. asked him, can he leave? Yeah, and then you assaulted me. And I asked him twice, three to four times. He put the camera in my phone, so I smacked this phone, and we come out. That is not what happened. <laughs> tell the truth. Just recording. Tell, tell the truth, bud. Tell the truth. This is the library. Yeah, so uh, this guy here decided to uh, assault me, break my equipment. So, Officer McCray, that's the Let's try to put this back up here. Man, he slapped the mess out of it, too. Okay. Wow, guys, so this guy thinks he can just uh, smack and break my equipment and then get away with it. You don't record my phone and my personal business on what's on my device. But you break mine? Don't, don't. You broke my what stuff. What you can man. do is leave. I don't need to leave. This is a public building. Nice try though. Definitely You guys know he's screwed. <laughs> he did break my equipment, so. I don't give a damn. You don't have to give a damn, man. The people watching give a damn, that's for sure. Yeah, this I'm gonna call Trevor. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Wow. Hello. Yeah, I understand. What can I do for you? Oh, they got cameras, guys. So, uh, we're going to stand back here and wait for uh, law enforcement. See if I can uh, scavenger up all my uh, equipment that he's Can't even uh, do a story in here, guys, without uh, getting assaulted. 
came straight to my face right when I got in and talking about there's no hoods in here. Guys, people are wearing hats. There's a, there's a women wearing these head coverings. She's wearing a hoodie. But when I come in to record, uh, he's got a problem with it. There it is. Finally found it right here. Completely broke my mount there. All right, guys, stay tuned. And you know what is uh, also messed up, guys, is nobody else said anything about uh, me recording. Uh, that guy's the only one who had a problem, and it wasn't even from me recording. It was from uh, my hood being up, so I don't know what that's all about. She's coming out. Yep, thank you. Hi. Hello. Um, do you know what a FOIA request is? Well, Public been... records request? Sure. Uh, can I fill one out, please? Um... Most likely. I don't know where they are. <laughs> okay. Like, Even if you have like a blank sheet of paper, okay. um, I can yeah. fill it out and then I can give it back to you. Just uh, basically sign it, stamp it, st time stamp it, and then uh, give it back to me. Okay. And then you guys take a copy also. Okay. What's the purpose of you being here? I'm doing this I don't want you to put me on no camera. Then why would you come up to the cameraman and talk to him? <laughs> because you're not supposed to be up without my consent. Man, you're in public. This is my consent. It's still you don't have expectation of privacy in public. I'm trying to. I'm trying to exercise my right. Of, uh, you can't not sit here. I don't want to be on your camera. Then why would you come up to the person with the camera and ask a question? That sounds stupid. Yeah. Because these these people are it, like this is ridiculous. These people are. They think they have an expectation of privacy in public. And I don't know where they get this information from, but. It's, it's just tired, explaining myself every single time. So she's saying she's going to call the um, police now, so let's see. Um, so if you want to write something, you yeah. can um, address this, and we'll send it in inner office mail for you. In your office mail? Inner office mail to um, our CEO. Okay. But what if I just want to... <laughs> All right, so I would fill something out, like a piece of paper. Yes. I would hand it to you guys. You guys would send it to the appropriate person. Correct. Okay, so I'm not going to mess with this part. I would just like to... Where, is there a piece of paper I can fill out? Modern policing has a complex and storied history that dates back centuries. Policing as we know it today has evolved from various forms of law enforcement that have existed throughout different cultures and time periods. The concept of policing can be traced back to ancient civilizations such as Egypt, Greece, and Rome, where individuals were appointed to enforce laws and maintain order within their communities. In the United States, modern policing can be traced back to the early 19th century with the establishment of the first organized police forces in major cities such as Boston, New York City, and Philadelphia. These early police departments were often characterized by corruption, inefficiency, and a lack of training and professionalism among officers. It wasn't until the late 19th and early 20th centuries that policing began to undergo significant reforms and professionalization. The creation of the first state police agencies, such as the Texas Rangers and the Pennsylvania State Police, marked a shift towards... For the public records? I can even do it on the back of that. Sure. Yeah. Do you have a pen? Awesome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to shake some hands right now. How are you doing good? All right, I heard you wanted to make a complaint against an officer. Uh, a security guard. Okay. Yeah. Well, what, can you tell me what happened? Yeah, so I was just coming in here. I go around and I uh, record like public libraries, post offices, all that. I disseminate that information to the public, whoever watches my videos. I post the numerous things, TikTok, YouTube, all that. Um, I came in and he was trying to tell me to take my hood off. But that's, that's a policy, it's not a law. And I walked in here, there's plenty of people got hat coverings on. So I don't know why he singled me out or it's anything. Not a, it's not the same, I'm stopping. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay. Don't mean to be, yeah, yeah, no, it's not the same. Okay. Okay. It's our policy to make sure everybody's safe. Yeah. We've had a lot of incidents where people come in with hoods, case me face, they grab somebody's phone and they run out. Oh, so really? It's, so it's it's a safety thing? Yeah. Right? So could you please remove the hood? Well, we like, I, I just want to know, what's the difference between a hood and a hat? A hat isn't covering your face. So if I have my hat on, I mean, my face is... <laughs> no, no, but you know how they wear their hoods. Yeah, so covers. they'll do it like that, and yeah, then they'll pull the things up. Yeah, so not any of so to not discriminate against yeah. anybody, we just ask everybody with hoods to take it with off. With hoods. Just so okay. we're not singling no group of people or no individual. I know. We just ask that if I would have done something, I would have done something a long time ago and, 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 and learned that. We just ask that everyone does it, just okay. so we're not... Well, out of respect, people. I'll do it this I time, you. but I have seen people walking around here with their hoods on. Yeah, we try to stay on top of it. So, you know, things might slide through, but we try to just ask everybody so we not... Okay, yeah, I can do that for you, no problem. Yeah, it's no problem. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's 
snappy. <laughs> it's nappy. So for us, it's, it's just it's a safety concern. Okay. For us. We we operate seventeen locations within the city. Okay, all, cool. all in different neighborhoods. Yeah. And we get a, a whole lot of. So just, you guys. You're, are you guys employed by mm -hmm. the city? I'm employed basically? by the city of St. Louis. Correct. Through the library. So okay, correct. Is, is that, is he it's also? Okay, so he did break my mic equipment um, when he slapped it. <laughs> he slapped it pretty hard. Um, it's plastic, it's not expensive, but you I do want to report it. Yeah. And then this is just, I hope this isn't damaged, but I, I won't know until I try using it again. You can just talk to me. Yeah. I'll take a picture of it. Yeah, and I did do a public records request trying to get his information. I don't know if you could give me that. Just I, I would like to make a report on it. Okay. Um, I'm gonna say this: if you want to um, call 911, they'll be able to give you an actual report about it. With me, you just kind of tell me, and I'll make a report to our own department okay. that this situation happened. So okay. I'll document it on my. So are you an officer? <laughs> I'm park ranger. I'm a park ranger. I work. Oh, park ranger. Okay. Oh, just park. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like a secondary. You have to. <laughs> yeah. All through okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'll make I'll document it on my mind. Okay. And just and beautiful libraries. Yeah. That's what stuff. that's what I go and do. I look around and see um, how the, they're laid out differently. I like to see different floors. I just came from the one by Target. The, okay. Yeah. That one. And I was they they acted it's professional in there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they just redid the third floor. Yes. Yeah, so I see that. And I read I read all those. Anytime, stuff. anytime you come in. Um, yeah. We do have a feminine policy. Okay. We ask the people without anybody's consent. Like staff, you can film us, but not the patrons. So I definitely get yeah. what you're doing. Beautiful places to be, but just be mindful that somebody yes. might say so, something about that. So they can say something, but it is my first amendment right to record in public to areas. I get that. Yeah, I don't go around that's trying to get, yeah, yeah, film people. I like to get like the layout, like the books and, and all the information that's laid out here. I try to get that information. You should go to a really, really pretty one. I think it was built in 1912. Okay. Downtown, downtown Central Library. Downtown Central Library. <laughs> yeah, I got to make my way that way. So I'm, I, I do a lot of traveling. So. I apologize that all of this happened, misunderstanding yeah. everything. Um, I'm going to talk to yeah. the gentleman. Enjoy. Yeah, and I'm, I'm just like really upset about like his approach. Like yeah. you could have asked me more professional. And the heck is that? Well, the one on the left is Mel Gibson. I don't know who the other two guys are. Will you please tell me the rest of the plan? It's your plan from Braveheart. Your army mooned the enemy until they could take no more and surrender. No, they didn't. They attacked us in a horribly bloody battle. Remember? And tell me a reason why. Like, I don't just, I'm not going to come in here and just put my hood down just because you say, hey, put your hood down. Like, I'm in public. I can, yeah, I can it, wear what I want to wear. I can. It's, it's, it's just a request. We, we get a lot of 17 branches. We get a lot right. of just pure. I, I can see that because of the location. <laughs> yeah, I and, and I feel like if we, and our big thing is if we ask, one person versus another, right. then it's kind of, so yeah. we just... So I walked in here and I saw a lady with her hood on, so mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, like, why would I have to take my hood off? And then I see those guys with the hats on and stuff, so I'm asking questions in my head, like, why me? But he wasn't very professional or anything, and then he got, like, super close to my camera, and I just did this, and he said, bam, and smacked it all out and broke it and all that, so... Well, let me deal with this. Do you mind writing down, like, uh, on and maybe a contact number for me? Uh, I'll write if down my comfortable. email. I don't give out my name or anything okay. like that. I'll so take, I'll take your email. Yeah. You like me in the program? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I heard sure. it. Uh, I was actually going to be law enforcement before I got my rights violated a while ago and uh, changed my whole <laughs> thought. But I do respect you, sir. You might, can I just get a last name just to document uh, I I'll just put my email. You can call me Alex. There you go. <laughs> just write out there. Because I want to make sure I'm not going to name on it. He did break my equipment, so. I'm just trying to get an apology. <laughs> I talk to you over Yes. Uh, you sure you think about being a cop? No, not anymore. Definitely not. <laughs> and you'd be a good cop. No. <laughs> okay. You know. I'm just here to keep the peace. I just can't. Correct. I just can't. I don't Can know I get an I'm apology at least from him? Oh, he did okay. break my equipment. Do you know okay. he, he should be responsible for paying for my equipment? Oh, okay. Let me suggest you do that. Yeah. Call the police. Okay. And resolve it. So I, I thought I did. did. Did you call him? I thought, but you guys responded, I mean, so I don't know. Okay, I, I'm, I'm here as, as a secondary officer. Yeah. I'm working secondary in the library. I just came in. I don't know what's going on. Okay. I have no clue. So did you get a, re a call? I'm, I just start. I just start working. You know, I didn't get a call 
So you, we work like part time. Yeah, this is my part time. So oh, you're staying like, here then? Yes, sir. Oh, well, well, yeah. I call, so I called. You called law already? Enforcement. Yeah. Did they say they were coming? Yes, but okay. You know, but, this is St. Louis, so you okay, never know. <laughs> but let me suggest, yeah, for the sake of uh, my job is to maintain and reserve the peace, right? So that you won't, uh, there won't be any uh, issues with yeah. with, with the, the, uh, the uh, security officer. Just don't say nothing to him, okay? Because that could could. Yeah, I'll, I'll wait for the attention. I'll, I'll wait for and the I'll just wait over here with you, okay? Yeah, yeah. Yep, so it yep. won't be no, be no discussion, yep, yep. okay? Appreciate you. Okay, but again, uh, let me suggest uh, you come down to uh, 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 to one of the, the best libraries in the country, Central. Yo, you from this St. one? Yo, you from St. Louis? No. <laughs> Where are you from? Uh, in the Midwest. In the Midwest. Okay, okay. Exact okay. location. But if you go down to uh, one of the best, we have some of the best libraries in the country. Okay. If you go down to Central Library, it's a historical library. It's like a museum. Yeah. It was rated one of the best libraries in the country. And you, in St. Louis here? Yes, sir. Okay. okay. It's downtown on Olive. On Olive Street. 13 and Olive. Awesome. <laughs> you, you can get some awesome... Will uh, they let me record in there? You let you, okay. What, what, <laughs> what, 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 I don't know what type of recording you're going to so do. So I basically just... I go around, I get, gather information that's publicly accessible there. Um, I take pictures of things like that, like that. Um, and I go around seeing uh, what section's what. And I don't, I, I try not to get people on my camera. Obviously, they're going to be on my camera. But I, that's not my goal is to, you know, go around and just stick my camera in their face or anything like okay, that. Okay, what I'll suggest is you just contact the uh, library management office, talk to the uh, Jet Wonder managers, and they can tell you the, the Pacific guidelines regarding any form of, of recording. So this is what I also do. I do educate. If it's a public library, I'm able to, by the Maybe First to. Amendment, to go in okay. there and record. I don't have to have permission or anything yeah, like that. Okay. I can just walk through the you doors can? and record. Yes. Yeah, I, I, I didn't know that. Yes, yeah. Yeah. That, that's what I try going around doing, is educating people, though, who do not okay. know that. So. Okay, I, I, didn't, I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, no, that's awesome. <laughs> because every... every Every place got different. Yeah, so I, can, I, didn't, I didn't know specifically. Yeah, correct. I know that in, in some cases they don't want you to, to, to uh, film. In, in some cases, they're mostly concerned about the people. They don't want. Basically, they think that people have an expectation of privacy. Right. But when you come out of your house and you're in public, you do not. Oh, okay. You, you can be recorded anywhere you go. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, yeah, I know we can be recorded. Yeah, anything like that. Correct. But but I know that there's some some places because uh, like they have cameras in here, like one up there. They don't come. They don't ask us permission. Yeah. I hope you ain't you yeah. don't put me on blast. Either. No, no, you're good. You've been doing good. Okay. Like I like okay. to highlight good okay. officers too. So. Okay. okay, no yeah. problem. I say you're very professional. Okay. Okay. Uh, no problem, bro. I'm, I'm just here to uh, maintain. Yeah, I don't, I, like I said, I don't know what more organized and professional law enforcement. The early 20th century also saw the rise of the professional model of policing, which emphasized the importance of training, standardized procedures, and accountability within police departments. This model laid the foundation for many of the practices and standards that are still in place in modern police departments today. In terms of recruiting new officers, police departments typically have a rigorous selection process that includes a combination of written exams, physical fitness tests, background checks, and interviews. Many departments also require candidates to complete a training academy program before they can become sworn officers. Recruitment efforts often target a diverse pool of candidates in order to reflect the communities they serve. Police departments may attend job fairs, visit schools and colleges. Here to de-escalate. De yeah, de yeah, and, and I'm suggest that you not just keep my just keep yeah, no because he, he may be a little. Yeah, he's a little hot right now. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate okay. you. Okay, you gone? Yeah, I got to go back to Central. Okay, uh, I'm going to stay here with him. He said he, he called. I call law enforcement, but I don't. I, I feel like they're not going to show up. I mean, it's been a while. I thought he called law enforcement and then like check on the car or something. Yeah, they I'm not going to stick to, around too much. Emergency and have them just fill out a post support. Okay. Least, but, so there might be. Could I get his name at least? His name is Sean. Sean. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have um, a last name? You don't even want to give me his name. Well, I like my Fourth Amendment. See, he's a public employee. There's a difference. I'm like, sure. so if, if they if they report it, they'll come back up and get his information and all his stuff. Okay. Because we have to have licenses. So is he leaving you? <laughs> but um, again, I apologize for this situation yeah. it went this way. If they come, then definitely report it. Okay. If they don't, you can always call the non emergency number and report it. Okay. Well, if they come, there's no point if he's leaving. If they come, you can still report it. Because okay. they'll still be able to contact us. And, and his name is Sean. Mm -hmm. okay. They'll still be able to contact us and get that information. All right. Right? Yep. Appreciate Sorry you. Sorry about Yep. No problem. Yep. How are you doing? I'm hanging in there. How are you? <laughs> Good. 
could be better. Okay, well, um, what's going on? The security guard inside of there, yeah. uh, he was trying to tell me to take my hood off. I was trying to let him know that I don't have to. Um, and then he uh, he got really close up to my camera here, and I was like this, and when I get this, he smacked my camera, the mic broke off of it. Uh, you yeah, got the mic Yeah. He broke the piece. It's not expensive. Oh, sorry about that. It's not expensive or anything, but uh, he did break it. So. And then this is this is, holds is that, actually is the, that the whole camera. Yeah, the camera. Yep. And it goes. Excuse me, I'm gonna sneeze. Thing. Oh, you're good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Something. He, no, no. The sun it is. Out? Yep. No, I've been uh, I've been sneezing yeah, for a while. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it's allergies or not. Yeah. So, but no, uh, this is the piece right here. Okay. Yeah, and then that goes on there, and then that slides into here, and then the mic goes like this. Okay. And he smacked it. He actually left. I saw him pull away, but I was just trying to file a report, basically. Okay. Um, because he did break mine. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Do you have ID on you? Not, uh, I'm no, asking, I don't. I'm just asking yeah. some questions. Yeah, yeah. What's your last name, man? <laughs> gonna make me feel old, uh, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. And just a good address for you. Uh, I don't. I don't give out my address. Yeah, okay. You're yeah, fine. Yeah, You're yeah, fine yeah, with yeah. that. Okay. All right. Hey. You want to stay here for a sec? Yeah, yeah, I can uh, stay I'm, here. I'm, yep. I'm go I already talked to that uh, regular, okay. that guy there. He seemed pretty cool. So yeah, he's a, he's a good guy. Yeah, he is. I, I noticed that. So. Okay. Yeah, this. Uh, yeah. Give him like five ten minutes. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I'll, I'll right yep. back. Awesome. Thank you. Do program areas. Blah blah blah. Uh, you can do uh, staff, uh, but you cannot photograph or film uh, patrons without their consent. So, <laughs> but is staff a, is part of the library, so, so you're allowed to film staff. So so basically. I'm trying to educate that there's no expectation of privacy when you come out in public. Oh, I totally if, understand. If I did get those people on film, it's not illegal, but I, I don't even try to get them on film. I try I get, to get I all get the that. information on the yeah. walls and on the thing. You know, like right now, we probably got like 20 cameras on exactly. us. Exactly. <laughs> you know, like, I'm a firm believer. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, yeah, give me five minutes. Okay. Get, um, I'm going to draw uh, a number for destruction okay. of private property. Okay. Uh, how much do you think that piece costs? I don't like even know. Ten? I can look it up on, on hey, Amazon. Hey, hey, look it up. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to be back in like five okay. minutes. Okay. So. I think it comes with the mic. Okay. Um, so I might have to look up in the mic, but I don't know how much that piece okay. costs. All right. Let me just give you the mic price and the, like. Is the mic damaged? Like I don't know. Like, I don't um, know. I haven't tested it out since, you know, because okay. I can't mount it or anything. Well, we can't go on speculation with that. So uh, okay. let's just look up that, that price. Okay. And then um, I'll give you a complaint number. If yeah. you find out that the uh, the microphone is damaged, okay. we can always do a supplemental. You can always call the station and they okay. just add it to and the And what's report. your name and badge number? Officer Davis. Yeah. My badge number is 1515. Oh, 15. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. And what station are you with? Are you with the... South Patrol. Is there a different... It's not downtown, right? No. Uh, okay. Okay. We got Central on Jefferson and then we got North on Union. Okay. We're, cool. we're off the of Sublet. Awesome. Thank so, you. All right. I'll be right back. Yep. I'll look for that information for you. This is going to be your complaint. Okay, cool. Okay, uh, 24 007097. Okay. That's the phone number to the South Patrol. Okay. So if you find out that your microphone is broke. It, I just tested it. It's not. It, it, it sounds good from what I can, can okay. see, but I do have that piece price there. It's twelve ninety five. Twelve ninety five. Yes. It, okay. All right, man. Yep. Okay, it is documented. Okay. So and well, I, I, I talked to the... Uh, I guess the manager here. Yeah, she did not have a problem with you with uh, your hoodie on. Yeah, um, I just, I just. So I walked in there. He told me to put my hoodie down. Yeah. I looked around. There was people with hoodies on, hats on, and yeah. all that. So I'm trying to figure out why me. <laughs> yeah, I, I get uh, it. I get it. But yeah. um, but she said that you're not banned from here. You okay. Back from yeah. Here, you feel like it? Oh snap. Oh, I think he break. Well, <laughs> he tried breaking. Oh, I'm <laughs> um, but okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're free to go, man. Appreciate you. Okay. Yeah. Hi. How you doing? Not bad. What's going on? How can I help you? Yeah, so I'm here to file a complaint, basically. Um, you guys, uh, do you guys hire security mm -hmm. to uh, basically oversee the public libraries? Yeah. Awesome. So I actually, um, on last Monday, I was at the, I don't know how to say it, is it the Boudur or Boudur? Boudur. Boudur location. Okay. Um, I was actually in there trying to gather information, um, disseminate that to the public, which is what I do. Um, so I do walk around there and record like what's available mm -hmm. to the public, what's on the walls. Um, there's a security guard in there by the name of Sean McCray. Yeah. McCray. Mm -hmm. um, have you? I don't know if you've heard of the situation. Or yes. Oh, you have. Okay. I'm fully aware. Yeah. Of okay. It's awesome. 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 So he he broke my camera equipment. This is new equipment here. So um, I didn't know if that complaint process was. Yeah. Right. On behalf of public safety, oh, I apologize. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. the assistant manager. Um, our manager unfortunately is not with us okay. anymore. Okay. Okay. I'm filling in. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. But 
Um, I'm not sure what could be done about your equipment. Yeah. Uh, Officer Mc, McCray. Mc, yeah. Mc, Mc, so, yeah. I, 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 I know. Right. He, he, he's only been with us for a short while. Okay. Um, he is no longer with us. Oh, awesome. So, <laughs> okay. Um, if there's anything else I can do to yeah. help you, I, I'd like to, but I'm not sure. What yeah, no. I was just coming here to file a complaint, basically. Oh, I don't, yeah, correct. I don't know if. I didn't know at the time if anything had happened because I haven't heard anything back from anybody. You had you had a reason to to file it. Okay, I awesome. appreciate. Yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you for being professional. You're very welcome. Is yeah. there anything I can do uh, for you besides? So about your library policies. Yeah, I know there's there the officer brought out there was a paper that said there's no recording of people, which I don't record the people, but it is a public area, and I did explain that to him. Yeah. Um, how could this? be resolved to where if I do, because I was actually going to go into your downtown location. Where is your library here? With the central across the street. It's right over here? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I was, actually, I was actually referred to go to there yeah. by uh, this one of the security people in there. He was a ranger. Mm -hmm. um, he did tell me to go in there and yeah. there's awesome stuff. To we, just, so I was, we just try to respect, like, not not even the employees, the staff, because yeah. we, we work for the city. Okay. We're always on surveillance. Yeah. So it's like having an extra camera is not a, exactly. as long as it doesn't interfere with the function. Right. It's not uh, in the people's faces, the, the visitors, and nope. you know, customers don't do any of that. Yeah, yeah. I, I try to keep to myself, walk around, say if I were in there, I'd be getting what's on the wall there. I'd be looking over here on the wall. Yeah. I don't really interact with any and use social media and other platforms to attract potential recruits. Some departments also offer incentives such as signing bonuses, tuition reimbursement, and opportunities for career advancement to attract qualified candidates. Community policing is a philosophy and strategy that emphasizes building strong relationships between police officers and the communities they serve. The goal of community policing is to create a partnership between law enforcement and community members in order to prevent crime, solve problems, and improve the overall quality of life in neighborhoods. Community policing involves a variety of strategies, including foot patrols, community meetings, and collaboration with local organizations and businesses. By working closely with community members, police officers can gain a better understanding of the need. Obviously, if they uh, come up to the camera, I am going to, you know, yeah, talk yeah. back to them. But <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. So he is no longer. Oh, yeah. So he's no longer with yeah. you guys then. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So, well, yeah, I appreciate you. Uh, you're welcome. Giving me that is this card or anything? Um, or your website? I don't have a business card. Uh, okay, the video is on YouTube. My YouTube is Central Tyrant Investigations. Central uh, Tyrant. It hasn't gone live yet. It'll go live on Thursday. Okay. But there are some other videos on there I'm pretty sure you would enjoy. So, yeah, it is. No doubt. Yeah, no so, doubt. yeah, I do have a YouTube channel, Central Tyrant Investigations, okay. on TikTok also. So. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you're fine, man. Yeah. Um, all right, I'll, I'll look it up. Okay, awesome. Um, they they should not have any problem with you okay. doing what you do over there. Awesome. I'm going to give them a heads up. Yes. Away. yes. Okay. That's so, all right. <laughs> usually what they do, like we have this policy where people are doing filming inside the library, mm -hmm. they fill out a request just not not for permission. Okay. But just so it doesn't interfere with what's going on. Say there's an event. Yeah. Or yeah, say yeah. there's somebody else doing photography. Right. It's just to have things organized, you know, okay. everyone's safety, but it, it's not like you need permission to film in a government room. Exactly. You realize the law. That's what I do is I go around and I educate. I try to be as professional as I can, but as soon as I walked in there, uh, I can even stop this and show you this. Like, itself. I, can, I can literally, it was two minutes and 38 seconds of me being in there and my phone and my equipment was already on the ground. So <laughs> yeah, it wasn't very Sorry. professional. Yeah, I was just trying to let them know that you guys had like a hoodie policy in there. Yeah, and it's only for, and I think um, my, my our, the one who reports to me is Treasure Hughes. She spoke with you as well. Okay. Um, and I think she mentioned that you understood about our the policy is only because um, so much goes on here. I can understand. Underhanded yes. people hiding <laughs> yeah. their identity. Yes. It's not about hats or anything like right. that. I could, you know, it's when they have a hood you can't see from certain angles and they steal something and yeah. run out. Or They'll like pull the string super tight yeah. so you can only see like this part of the yeah. face. I, 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 didn't do, I didn't do anything like that. Like my face was shown and everything and I was just trying to point out to them, hey, there's a girl over here walking around with the hood on. Why me? You know, why did he come straight to me? But yeah, I'm glad that this was resolved in such yeah. a fast manner. So. Yeah, I'm just sorry to pull the seat with Southwest. He was inexperienced, and I, I wish him the best on his okay. next deployment. Awesome. Well, I promise you, yeah, yeah, you're very professional. I, I am going to highlight you on, on my channel, so yeah, yeah, that's fine. I appreciate your professionalism, sir. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Needs and concerns of residents and develop tailored solutions to address them. 
One of the key principles of community policing is the idea of problem solving. Instead of simply responding to calls for service, officers are encouraged to proactively identify and address underlying issues that contribute to crime and disorder in their communities. This can involve working with residents to implement crime prevention programs, improve lighting and infrastructure, and address social issues such as homelessness and substance abuse. Overall, community policing is seen as a more holistic and effective approach to law enforcement that focuses on building trust, promoting collaboration, and fostering positive relationships between police officers and the communities they serve. By working together, law enforcement and community members can create safer, more vibrant neighborhoods where everyone can thrive.